Hello, hello. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, oh hi, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, uh, nothing's wrong here. No, no, everything is under control. <laughs> it's just, um, have you guys seen a gingerbread man around here somewhere? I mean, if you do, could you let me know? <laughs> it's no big deal. I mean, <laughs> I was just trying out a new gingerbread recipe, you know, for Christmas, because I just love gingerbread cookies. <laughs> and uh, our cookie cutter this week is a gingerbread man, so I thought those would be perfect. I just, I didn't know how fast that those guys could run. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, right, uh, for those of you who don't know, our cookies have been coming to life. <laughs> That's right, and our cookies uh, help us to tell the Bible story. Like, like last week, we had an angel uh, cookie who told us the first part of the Christmas story. And I just thought it would be perfect because this week we could have the gingerbread man uh, maybe help with part two of the Christmas story, but I guess I got to find him first. Oh, 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 run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me because I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> oh, there you are. Ah! Uh, wait, oh, oh, I gotta oh, run! Oh, where are you going? Wait, uh, oh, oh, don't run from me. Wait, oh, 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 Gingerbread man, oh, why are oh, you running? Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there, I got you! Oh, oh man! Gingerbread man, stand up! Oh, let go of me! Why are you running? This is against my First Amendment! No. Why am I running? Yeah, that's well, right. Because I don't want to get eaten. Get, that's all you people do. Get eaten? You just want to eat me. No, no. Don't you, you don't want to hurt me. We're not going to me. eat you. Oh, don't you <laughs> want to make me cry? Gingerbread man, stop. Really we're not going to eat you. What? Are you not? No, we we just were hoping maybe you could tell part of the Bible story. What? Who does that? Yeah, we're not going to eat you. Uh, Not even for a snack. Not even. Oh, okay. Well, you, you, you just said you wanted me to help with the Bible story? Yeah, that's right. Part two. Oh. Well, actually, you know, I think I do have some friends who would like to help with that. <gasps> well, that would be perfect. And did you know that our Bible storyteller would really, really appreciate that? Oh, yeah? Well, you yeah. know, well, well, what's the Bible story even about? Oh, well, it's, I'm glad you asked. It's part two of our Bible story. It's about the night that Jesus was born. Oh. Well, it sounds like it's going to be good. It is going to yeah. be good. So, so, uh... Chef Sprinkle, do you, yeah. do you think you could, like, let me go now? Uh, I well, don't I, know. I promise. Uh, I promise I won't run. You won't run? Gingerbread man's on me. Well, all right. You're free, I'm free. What? I gotta go. Woohoo! What? What, what are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, Sorry, Chef Sprinkle. It's just what us gingerbread men like to do. Be yeah. free! Oh, boy. I guess I should have known that would happen. Uh, anyway, guys, put on your listening ears because our Bible story is coming up next. It's just as soon as I go catch the gingerbread man. Yippee! Again. <sighs> Come back here! Hello, boys and girls. My name is Miss Tracy, and I get to tell you the next part of the Christmas story. Do you remember where this story comes from? The Bible! The Bible! And if it's in the Bible, then we know it's... True! True, that's right! Well, last week we learned about the angel telling Mary some good news. Now, what was that good news? <laughs> Baby Jesus was going to be born. That's right. We celebrate Christmas because we're celebrating that Jesus was born. Oh, hey, hey, Miss Tracy. Oh, I thought Chef Sprinkle caught what? you. Oh, oh, I'm the gingerbread <laughs> man. He can't catch me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, and I know that you need help for the Bible story, so here I am. Uh. From you? Oh, well, yeah, I don't see anyone else around here. That's true. Okay, so today's story has Mary in it. Oh, and I can pretend to be Mary. And her husband, Joseph. Oh, oh, and that'll be me. Perfect. So Mary and Joseph lived in a town called Nazareth. Nazareth. But they, yeah, that's kind of a hard word, isn't it? But they learned that they would have to go on a very, very long trip to Bethlehem to be counted. Breath eats a ham? Oh, close. Let's try it again. Okay. Bethlehem. Bethlehem. That was, that was better. Kids, can you say it? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Yeah, they did a great oh, job. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so Bethlehem was very far away from Nazareth, and Mary was going to have the baby oh. very soon. Oh. oh, who was that baby again? Oh, uh, I thought it was something like a Jesus. Uh, Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh they said yeah, it. Yeah, they did say it. It was Jesus. Jesus, yeah. that's right. 
great. Oh, that's right. So Mary and Joseph started going to Bethlehem. Uh -huh. And they didn't have cars back then, no. but they did have their feet. Oh. So Mary and Joseph are going to have to walk. You know, personally, I like to run, but walking's okay too. Oh, but you know what? What? They also had a donkey. Oh, they had a donkey? Yeah. Hey, I have a donkey. You have a donkey? Yeah, I have a donkey. That's perfect. Yeah. What did Donkey say? Uh, there we go. So Joseph walked while Mary, oh, Mary rode the donkey. There we go. Said she was so pregnant and about to have the baby. Uh -oh. Oh, so we better get there soon, right? Mm -hmm. oh, we gotta walk a little fast. <laughs> yep. Okay. So let's walk with Mary and Joseph uh -huh. all the way to Bethlehem. Oh. So can everyone pat your legs yeah. like you're walking? Awesome! Okay, keep going, because Bethlehem is very far away. Oh, it's okay, keep it's going. It. Oh, Joseph, we're almost there. Oh, and oh, God, oh, the last sprint. Oh, 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 we made it! Oh, 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 what a long walk. I don't know if I need this anymore. Oh, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> but they were finally in Bethlehem. Well, so what they do now that they were in Bethlehem is drinking? Well, there was a bit of a problem. A problem? Yeah, there were tons of people in Bethlehem, and it was going to be very hard to find a place to stay. Oh, oh no. No gingerbread houses or hotels? No. Oh. No, no hotels. So Mary told Joseph that baby Jesus was coming, oh. and they needed to find a place to stay oh. and fast. Oh, I bet. I so, I'm fast. You I'm are fast. Man. You know what? Oh, yeah. Joseph went to all the houses and he knocked on the doors oh. to find out where they could stay. Oh, I can do that. Okay. Oh, Joseph. Oh, 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 let's go over here. Okay. okay. So we have to knock on the door. Kids, you want to help us? Oh, on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Well, that was fancy. Hey, <laughs> what do you want? Oh, so Joseph told him yeah. that he needed a place yeah. to stay because Mary talking. was about to have a baby. Yeah, but do you want to know what the man in the place said? Ah, there's no room here. Oh, oh no! There was no room for them there. Oh, oh, so, you know what? Oh. Joseph went to the next place. Okay. Oh, there's a house over yeah. here I can go to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, kids, okay. you want to help me yeah. knock? Remember okay. what to do? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> uh, hello. Oh, hello there. Okay, so Joseph explained that he and Mary needed a place to stay because Mary was about to have a baby. But they also said, uh, I'm so sorry, but we're we're full to the busting out the seams. Sorry, no room. Oh no, what were Mary and Joseph going to do? Oh, there's not a whole lot of houses left. Well, no, there's one more place. Let's see. Okay, kids, you know what to do. Ready? Uh, oh, hello, hello. Oh, it's a goat. How are you? Oh, I love it. Oh. Well, so one more time, Joseph explained how he and Mary needed a place to stay so that Mary could have baby Jesus. Yeah. Oh, I am so sorry, but there's no room here. Oh. But, but I do have a stable out back. You can use that. Oh, oh okay. So a, sta a stable is like a barn, but do you think that's a, the kind of place that a baby is born? Oh, no, but it's probably more roomy than a gingerbread house. Oh, no, but I, do you think it smells good in there? Oh, probably not. Probably not. not. It's, no. it's not the kind of place where a baby is normally oh, born, and oh, certainly God. not the most special and important baby ever, Jesus. Uh -huh. But it was there in that stable, surrounded by animals that... <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It sounded like a, like a, like a baby. Oh, a oh, oh, oh baby. it's a baby crying. What do you think that means? <gasps> baby oh, Jesus. Oh, baby Jesus had been born. I'll train oh, you. Oh, okay. okay. You gotta support the hope. <laughs> so Mary took baby Jesus and wrapped him in a cloth, and then she laid him in a manger, which is something that animals eat out of, to rest. Baby oh. Jesus had been born. It was the very first Christmas. Can everyone whisper, happy birthday, baby Jesus? Yeah. We don't want to wake him up. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, baby Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Miss Tracy, he's so cute. I just want to mention, oh, jeez. So wow, cute. Jesus is born. And that's why our cookie cutter this week is a gingerbread man. Oh, hey, that's me. Hey, that's right. The cookie cutter looks like a person, and it will remind us that Jesus is the most special person ever. God loves us so much. He gave us Jesus to be our best friend forever. So why is Jesus special? Oh, oh I know this one. Okay. Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's a donkey, though. Well, well it's the only thing I have in my hands. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's been really fun telling the Bible story, but you know gingerbread men. <laughs> we gotta go. As fast as I can. You can't catch me up. Bye, gingerbread, gingerbread man. man. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and pray. So let's pray.
put our hands together. We're going to close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be our best friend forever. Thank you for loving us. We love you and all God's children said, amen. Hey everyone, today's story was so amazing. Jesus, the most special baby ever, was born in a stable, surrounded by animals. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Hmm, has anyone seen the gingerbread man anywhere? I mean, he's been running away from me again and we need to find him. So, if you see him, just let me know. What, he's in the house? Oh, all right, I'm let's see if I can here. catch him. Oh. Oh. I must have just missed him. Do you guys see him where he might be anywhere on stage at all? In, in the trees? Okay, hold on, let me see if I can catch him. Where are you? I don't see him. Are you guys sure you see him in the trees? I'm <gasps> there he is. <laughs> oh. Man, he got away from me again. He sure is fast. What? You see him somewhere else? <gasps> Over in the tree house? <gasps> I see him, you're right. Oh. oh, just missed him again. Hmm. I wonder where he could be. <gasps> I'm so tiny in this little box over here. <gasps> right oh, there. Oh, is that close. Well, I'm still too fast for you. <laughs> maybe he's down here, or up here, or maybe he's right there. I gotcha. <laughs> I got him finally. Oh, Miss Carla, you're sneaky. <laughs> That's right, I caught you. So let's hope he stays caught for a while, right kids? Because he'll be back for Christmas Eve, which is actually next weekend. So make sure you come to church or tune in. We'll see you guys later. I'm free! <laughs> oh, wait, come back! Yeah.